Welcome back. Platform tennis is a popular sport among older adults. It's a fun way to stay in shape, but new research shows injuries are common in those who play the game. In Health Watch, Shelly Bota tells us why players are getting hurt and how you can prevent an injury. Thinking of trying platform tennis? What you should know about preventing an injury. Swinging, running, competing, platform tennis is a great way for people of all ages to stay in shape and socialize. It's so much fun. It's such a fun game. It's great camaraderie, too. But injuries have sidelined both of these platform tennis enthusiasts. I felt a pop in the back of my leg and then a lot of pain. And all of a sudden, I couldn't, I couldn't swing my right arm. The first ever national study of platform tennis injuries found 66% of players say they've suffered an injury from the sport, and more than half have had two or more injuries. It's usually played by people in their 40s, 50s, 60s who may have some underlying wear and tear to begin with. The most common, shin and calf, knee, elbow, ankle, and shoulder injuries, and most of them are caused by preventable problems such as not warming up. Performing a dynamic warm-up is very helpful, um, so that means moving all the joints and muscles into a full range of motion before you play for at least 10 minutes. Experts also recommend static stretching after a workout to improve flexibility. Cross-training between play can help strengthen muscles and lower the risk of injuries. Specific exercises can target different body parts. For instance, this one can help prevent a calf strain. Also, don't forget to drink plenty of water while you play. Simple steps to help you play ball without any pain. Another reason experts believe platform tennis players are at an increased risk for injuries is that the game is played outdoors, usually during cold weather months. Muscles and tendons are typically more prone to injuries if they're cold. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botat, Local 5 News.